Hello, it's Barbara the Cursing Seamstress back again for another video. Um, today I have a couple of things to talk to you about. The first thing is um, I want to show you a shopping haul I got from a store here in my area called Belk. It's a southern store. Um, there's some in Virginia, North Carolina, Georgia. I'm not quite sure how far south they go, but they're a nice store. They're um, a little bit um, uh, less than what you would find at Nordstrom, uh, more along the lines of Macy's, maybe a little bit less than Macy's, um, but above Kohl's. So in between, I would say Kohl's and Macy's, um, their styling and their pricing. Um, and they had a really good sale. I went the other day and, um, and they do this all the time. There's always a sale. Um, but I thought I'd take advantage of this one. I went and they had already discount uh, prices, but they had other markdowns. Everything I got was marked down and then marked down another 40%. And I wanted to show this. The brands of jewelry that I really like for costume jewelry are um, Napier, and I can't remember the other one, but uh, this is Napier. And this is really beautiful. It's, um, it's not real sterling silver at all. Um, it is um, silver colored. Uh, this is what the Napier tag looks like. Monet is the other brand that I really enjoy. This necklace was $12.99 and it was another 40% um, off of that. So uh, it's another $4 off, almost $5 off. So, um, seven dollars, um, and it's really beautiful. It has a lobster claw, which is really nice for actually staying on, and you don't have to worry that it, it's going to fall off. And it's long enough. Um, at my age, I don't like the the shorter necklaces that are up tight. Um, I like them to fit right about where this one fits, and just a little bit above wherever my neckline is. So that was pretty cool. So I thought that was a great price. Actually, I have my receipt right here, and uh, and I can tell you what everything cost. The necklace was um, actually it's not broken down the way I thought it would be. This says that it was oh okay it was seventeen ninety nine and then it was ten seventy nine. So. I might need to ask them about that. That doesn't sound right. Um, the other thing I got was this bracelet. Bracelet. This one is um, New Directions. It's their store brand, I think. Um, and it's again a silver tone. It has the stretch in it, which I like okay. Um, what I've noticed is that the thread that's elastic doesn't have a real long longevity um, but we'll see this bracelet was originally was marked 20% down to $9.99 and then I paid $5.99 another 40% off the third piece of jewelry that I got these are also Napier and these were um, four dollars and nineteen cents originally fourteen dollars and they are sort of a well they're an oval shape um with a silver colored metal and again these have the real good clasp on there um, these stay on you don't have to worry that they're gonna the hook is gonna come through your ear and it says napier on the back i don't know if you can read that or not but they're really nice and this is a color it's a, it's a like a turquoise color and I can wear that with um, a lot of things and then the other thing I bought was a skirt this skirt was originally $36 marked down to $24.99 and then marked down to $19.99 which I thought was pretty cool um, this is it's a it's a stretch knit it's it's not really thin, but it's not thick either. Um, the waistband is probably two inches on it, but inside I can feel the elastic is only about an inch um, high. 
And it's uh, colors of black and gray. And it's long, it's a maxi skirt. And what I'll try to do at the end of this is, oh, it's by Jane Ashley, this is a medium. Um, and what I'll try to do at the end of this video is to try it on so you can see what it looks like. But I love maxi skirts with flats or heels. I just think they look wonderful for a casual day or an evening out. So I thought that was pretty neat. The other thing I wanted to mention, um, mostly what I do are videos for sewing and embroidering. And I had made a video prior to this one about, I want to adjust my camera a little bit, there's a glare. Um, but I had made a, a prior video about these wonderful uh, little bags, cosmetic bags or whatever you want to use them for. Here's another one that I made. They're just so simple to turn out and it seems like that I've started making them and I can't stop. So I just continue to make them and give them away to friends. This one I messed up on and I'll show you what I did wrong. It was just because I wasn't paying attention. The hardest thing probably in making these bags is is laying the, the rectangles out correctly and putting the zipper in the right place. And obviously I did not do this on this one. I'll show you the front. The front is perfect. Um, I don't know if you can read it. It says Brigid, uh, B-R-I-G-I-D, and it has a little flower there. The zipper is uh, pink. The back is pink too. Um, the back was not supposed to be this color. The back was supposed to be the same print as this but I layered my fabrics wrong. So the inside lining has both the pink and the print. So anyway, I, I don't think the person who I'm giving this to will really notice so much, but, um, but I love it. And this bag is probably five, maybe five by five, by five. it's pretty much square. Um, the next one came out really well. This says Christy on it, K-R-I-S-T-Y. Um, and you see that I did the right thing on the back. It has the same print, little foxes, which I'm in love with. Um, it's got a similar colored zipper. The inside is a fantastic coordinating fabric. It wasn't meant to coordinate, but it just does. It's a rust color that's the same color as the foxes. And it's in sort of an Eastern, Middle Eastern kind of a a print and I love this this came out great this is for the woman who does my hair so I can't wait to give that to her I finally made one for myself and I used the same fox print only on this one I put a picture you can see it it's a little French poodle with a cup of coffee and steam is coming off the coffee and she has sunglasses on and she looks like my little dog I even colored her that apricot color and she has uh, brown around her, a little brown nose, just like my little dog does. And um, the inside is the same. I have that same Middle Eastern sort of print and um, an off-white zipper. So I just wanted to show that to you. And what I'll try to do is to actually write those instructions down. It's ridiculous to hear me uh, talk to you about how to make them and show you the bags without actually um, showing you how to do it. It's very simple. You can cut these to any size that you want. Your zipper does not have to be the same length or even close. You can have a humongously long zipper and any size of this that you want. And I saw just the other day on YouTube a new way to do the zipper where you actually have a piece of fabric here. You've seen it on um, zipper pouches, I'm sure, other things with zippers. It's just a little tab of fabric right here and also on the other end where the zipper pull ends up. And it really looks professional. So I didn't try that today, but I'm going to do that just to see what it looks like and to make sure that I can do it. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, please subscribe subscribe. I'd love to um, have some followers. Um, I'll try to come up with some new ideas to show you. And you can see my little dog in the back. She's um, eating. She likes to eat when I'm in the dining room. So um, anyway, please comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And this is Barbara the Cursing Seamstress and keep sewing. Thank you.